what are records in C-sharp and how are they different from classes. If you go to the official documentation, you will find out that a record in C-sharp is a class or structure which provides special syntax and behavior for working with data models. Records were introduced in C-sharp 9 and in this video I'm going to go over their features and then we're going to take a look at some code examples which demonstrate their use. Okay, what are the records main features? As always, you can pause the screen and read them on your own. I'm just going to cover some of them, basically the most important ones. The records in C-sharp are immutable by default. This means that once a record object is created, its properties and fields cannot be changed. This is done so the records have consistent and predictable behavior. The second most important feature of the records is the value-based equality which basically means that if you compare two records, they are deemed equal if their properties have the same values, even though they're different objects in memory. The records have several auto-generated methods, such as equals, get hash code, and to string, and the to string method provides a useful string representation of the record's content. And now on the screen, you can see the rest of the features of the records, and probably the most notable and useful one that uh, you might want to remember from here is that records can be deconstructed much like tuples and this can be quite useful. Let's take a look at the first code example where we have a record which is person with first name, last name and middle name where we use the init accessor which uh, makes it setable, which makes the middle name setable only during object initialization. And then we have the greet method, which simply returns hello, followed by the full name. And we have has same name as method, which compares two person objects and returns true if they are have the same first name and last name, otherwise it returns false. And this is the main method where we create a new person with John and Do as first and last name, and we set the middle name to Samuel, and we use the greet method. And you can see it prints hello, John Samuel Do. And then we create a second person with the first and last name Jane Do. And we use the has same name as method to compare John to Jane, which should return clearly false. So let's run that. And you can see the two records are not the same. This is our message. If they are not the same, it prints the two records are not the same. Otherwise, it should print the two records are the same. Okay, now let's take a look at the value-based equality of the records and compare it to the reference-based equality of the classes. This is my record, person, which has two properties, first name and last name, which are set in the constructor. And then I have a person class, which is not a record, it's a class, with the same two properties, first name and last name, and they're also set in the constructor. And now in the main method, we create two person objects, with the same first name and last name, J and Do, and then we compare them. And then after that, I create two person classes, two person class objects, again with the same first name and last name, Jane Do and Jane Do. And again, we compare these two objects. Now, since the records use value based equality, this message should be set to equal, and since the classes use reference-based equality, which means uh, they should be equal only if they point to the same location in memory, which is clearly not the case here, since these are two different objects. So let's run the program. And as expected, we have the two records are equal, and the two class objects are not equal. And now on the screen, you can see the differences and similarities between the records and the classes. Probably, the apart from the discussed equality, 
difference and the most important is the use cases. Basically, the records are ideal for immutable data structures, which means that you can use records in any scenario where data should not be modified after it has been created. And for instance, in a financial system, a transaction record is one such uh, example since once it is created it should never be modified and some other times you might want to use records is when using historical data or logs when using configuration data for event sourcing messaging geometric shapes tree nodes temporary data structures and so on one of the primary candidates for records are the data transfer objects the dtos in any application where you use any kind of database you're most likely to have your model classes and your data transfer objects are also known as DTOs. The DTOs are perfect for using records since in most cases they are immutable and you can use the value-based quality of the records to compare to DTOs. Another advantage that the records offer as far as DTOs are concerned is their readability since DTOs are often used just to represent data structures and don't contain any business logic. The simplicity of the records makes them a perfect choice. Okay, that was another tutorial from me where I tried to explain what the records are and when you should use them. Thank you for watching.